All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I got a new sponsor, DMI Tillage. Tillage Today promotes a safer environment for tomorrow. DMI Tillage. Um, <laughs> that's their logo. That's their promo. It, uh, <clears throat> we got a five-year study. Uh, so uh, over five years on a field, we're going to have 48 rows wide, per near a half mile long, each bay, met multiple times across the field. Soil health versus conventional tillage of my area. Conventional tillage of my area is primary tillage. One pass of primary tillage, doesn't matter if it's soybean, stubble, or corn. One pass of primary tillage, and then a pass or two of finish. So this year, since I'm doing my primary tillage in the spring, I'm gonna just turn right around, hook up the mulch master, and go. Um, and do the secondary finish right away. I gotta get the planter over there because I'm gonna use a planter to help stake it out. And so over the five years, the, I have to use the same hybrid population as close to planting date as possible. Uh, same chemical program, fertility program, everything has to be the same. They're gonna come, an independent company is gonna come. They're gonna take soil, conventional soil fertility tests. We're gonna do soil health tests like, like worm counts, visible soil structure stuff. Do we notice any carrying capacity difference, the amount of runoff? Is there visual runoff differences between the two? Is one still having per erosion? Uh, that kind of stuff. And, and so everything has to be identical. The only difference is one side is soil health and the other side is conventional tillage. So the soil health, I do get some free reins there. Uh, it's not a strict no-till. So on the soil health side, I get, I get choice of cover crops and however I want to manage cover crops. They're not dictating that, which is nice because this field is highly abused soil for decades. And so I need as aggressive as a cover crop as I can get to, to really start promoting soil health. And uh, it, it's gonna be a tough battle. So what I might do is uh, really punch in some perennials into this thing and really push in the winter rye. And that means if I have to use uh, the rotary harrow of the, of the mulch master, if I have to use that rotary harrow to, to smooth out any ruts while the soil is transitioning, um, to, to do whatever, if, if I have to do a little bit of rescue work while the soil is healing, I, I can still do it, but then that's at my risk of setting back soil health promotion. And so the tillage side is pretty cut and dry. Primary tillage, finished tillage, and then plant. Um, so I will do, f the following years, I will kind of emulate what is happening in the neighborhood. So if I go out and do a finish pass in the spring and we get a rain, if the rest of the neighborhood would be going out and doing another finish pass to warm and dry after that rain, then I will do the same thing. And so I am just going to emulate what the neighbors are doing for my tillage side. And uh, yeah, for five years, and uh, I got old Smokey hooked up and let him, <sighs> let him pull it over. And uh, Mulch Master and 84 are already over there. And so guys, let's, let's get going. Till for two years, how much it still erodes. It, uh, it's kind of goofy. Uh, this headland right here, look how that's all washed out. Look how flat it is, though. That, that's, I mean, look at that. That's what we're trying to prevent. That is the same here along the headland here. That's what we're trying to fix, guys. So here we are. We just came up this edge between the cover crop and the control, and we're on pass 12. So I just drove with my marker down and not planting to try and stay ahead of Jeffrey. And so I make a line for him. So that's the line between the two colors. So then I'll go over to pass 20, will be the next pass between them two colors, and I'll drop my other marker down. 
and then that will be the control of red that will mark that out so pass 13 through 20 will get tillage and pass 12 and 21 will be the zones of the cover crop so I, it, it works out pretty slick it works out pretty slick but I see him wandering around so I better call him there we go so I go down past 21 with my marker to the inside and that kind of gives a little there'll be a little bit of buffer zone from the tillage to the the no-till control but yeah here's another washout we're gonna get all this fixed up I think I'll, I'll hire a dozer company to come in this summer if I can and uh, <clears throat> clean up this water hole and there's a big deep ditch here feather that off clean this drainage hole up up here and then all them waterways get all that stuff fixed up get this field draining properly and uh, then we can go from there I always enjoy watching the tire. Don't know why. Sure like that little white planter. It's been working out pretty good. Whoop, 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 headland, holy crap, let's pay attention here. 